Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Apa received a request recently for Apa to make ikan baka pari. In English, it's actually translated as uh, grilled fish, and ikan pari is actually stingray. Okay. I'm not sure if any um, if you're outside Malaysia, you probably haven't tasted stingray before, but it looks like this after cutting into cutlets, and uh, it actually tastes somewhere in between chicken meat and also fish. It is very tasty. Okay, actually, my father always told me when he was young, uh, and he when he was used to be a, a fisherman with in the family, he said nobody wants to eat stingray those days, probably about 50, 50, 60, some 50, 60 years ago. Uh, but today, stingray becomes a very famous fish to be eaten, uh, especially to be used as ikan baka, grilled fish in Malaysia, and it is actually quite expensive today. Okay, now, um, so uh, in order to make the ikan baka, one very important aroma is actually from this thing called banana leaves okay you must have a banana leaf to make your uh, ikan baka your stingray uh, grilled stingray and then we will need to make the chili paste yeah the sambal chili paste for the ikan baka uh, i'll be i will purposely make a bit more so that i'll probably can keep some in my freezer later uh, some uh, red chili okay uh, then you have a bit of, uh, this is a small red onion, few cloves of garlic. This is galangal, also known as blue ginger. This is uh, turmeric, okay? This is turmeric roots. If You can also use turmeric powder if you don't have this, okay? Small piece, small piece. And one small piece of uh, brachan, yeah? Fermented shrimp paste. Always remember to dry roast your brachan. And one piece of ginger. This is actually ginger tosh flower to give it some citrusy um, smell, aroma. And this is something I learned from my recent cooking session together with the Marriott International Chef. In the ikan baka, they actually put in these leaves. It is actually the turmeric leaves, okay? And they shredded it like this, okay? And um, baka together. So let's make the chili paste first. Okay, I will cut my chili into cubes like this to ease the blending process. Uh, my blender is not very big, so I'm going to uh, do it in batches, okay? Little red onion, garlic, blachan. This is the ginger toast flour. You don't put this in, okay? Uh, you don't blend the turmeric leaves. We will uh, leave it, leave the turmeric leaves to the end. And also, what else? Okay, I put in everything. And to ease the blending process, we can actually add a little bit of water. Not too much. You don't want your sambal paste to be too watery. Oops. Just blend it up into a paste. Okay, you want to uh, make it into a paste like this. Okay. After that, you will use this to actually you can pour over this over to your um, your fish. Uh, but before that, I will season my chili paste a bit. First of all, I'm going to put some salt. Okay, some salt into the chili paste. Also, some sugar. Now, you can choose to um, saute your chili paste, yeah? Fry your chili paste, up to you, okay? And this is some sugar. And I'm going to add a bit of fish sauce into it. Okay, that's it. 
and do some final blend. Oops. Okay. Ooh, I already taken out the blade. Stupid me. <laughs> Never mind. Then I will just manually blend it. Eh. Mix the salt, sugar. Okay. You can put in some calamansi if you if you like also. No problem. All right. Now I can actually put it uh, onto my fish. You want your fish to be nicely covered. Okay. I'm going to use my bare hand. And the fish to be nicely covered by this. By the nice sambal. Alright, after this is the grilling process. Um, for those who doesn't have a grilling uh, tool at home, we can just use any flat uh, wok or pan to um, pan fry it. Alright. Okay, I'm going to use my banana leaves. Okay, use the bright side, the brighter side uh, facing the fish. Put a bit of oil. Put my stingray here. Okay, then you can put some turmeric leaves. Okay, and then, and then I'm going to pan fry it like this. Alright. Put the side. Do the next one. Put some oil. Stingray. Some turmeric leaves. And you wrap it up. Like this. Okay, so get ready to uh, pan fry our fish. Okay, I have heated up a non-stick non pan here. You can use normal wok. I did not put in any oil. Okay, the oil is already inside the banana leaves. Not sure if you can hear the sizzling sound. So we are going to uh, slowly uh, fry our stingray this way. Okay. Uh, after a couple of minutes, I'm going to flip it over and if, if the banana leaf started to uh, get charred or burn, I will uh, I, I have other banana leaf to stand by to replace, okay? Put in the cover to assist the cooking process and we will come back uh, three, four, uh, three minutes later. I'm not sure whether you can hear the seasoning sound. Uh, while cooking this, you will feel the very nice aroma coming out from the chili paste together with the banana leaves okay so this is about four minutes so um, I'm going to turn the leaves over Then I'm going to co cover this with a lid and let it continue cooking for another uh, five minutes. My uh, my stingray is very thick today. If you use those thinner ones or you are using any fish, by the way, you can use any fish you like, okay? If you are using uh, any fish which is much thinner, everything should be cooked within 10 minutes. So this one may take slightly more than 10. All right, so we will let it continue cooking under medium high heat. Okay, this is after another five minutes. Oh, super fragrant. I'm going to turn again. 
I think my fish is not cooked yet. It is very very thick. I'll probably need another 5 to 10 minutes for this particular fish. Okay, but like I said, if you are using the normal one, it should be cooked. A very thin uh, fish, it should be fully cooked within 10, uh, 10 minutes, alright? So I'm just continue doing this and uh, yeah, it should be, everything should be cooked within 20 minutes. Okay, this is approximately total cooking time, about 18 minutes. Like I said, if your fish is smaller and thin, you only need less than, less than, you only need less than 10 minutes, okay? Wow. It should be fully cooked right by now. One reason why I choose to use a non-stick wok uh, pot today, a, a pan today, is because um, the my my banana leaves will not get burned too easily. If you use a normal stainless steel, then it will actually get burned faster. See, my banana leaves actually still intact, still can be used, so I don't have to change it uh, halfway. Okay, so uh, I can take it out to my plate. Okay, let's unwrap our fish. Uh, use the scissors to help. Wow. This is so super fragrant. I wish you can smell this. It's like unwrapping a gift. The fish is nicely infused with um, all the nice smell from aroma from the banana leaves and to together with all the spices it's beautiful okay and uh, you can put some eat it and uh, put some calamansi on it before eating of course i have some extra chili for those who who likes spicy all right there you go let me adjust the angle for you a bit. All right. Okay, it's always good to have some uh, sour, sour tinge to this particular dish. Okay, so uh, this, this is my ikan bakar pari. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook page, the great line, follow button, follow up on Instagram, and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.